Here's how you establish the identity for problem number 14. You're going to start by looking at the equation to decide which side is more complicated. This time, the right-hand side is more complicated because it is, involves division. Next, I'm going to look at my three Pythagorean identities and look to see if there's anything I can substitute. If I look at the numerator of this fraction, there's a 1 minus sine squared. So, if I look at my first trig identity, I have a 1 minus, or I have a cosine squared, a sine squared, and a 1. I can manipulate the first equation by subtracting sine squared from both sides. And on the left-hand side, I'm left with cosine squared. That means I can substitute in this numerator for cosine squared. My denominator, something very similar happens. If you look at your denominator, which is a cosecant squared minus 1, you should realize in your third trig identity, you have a cosecant squared and a 1. If I manipulate this to get it to be cosecant squared minus 1, I'm left with a cotangent squared of theta. So now I can substitute cosecant squared with co sorry, cosecant squared minus 1 with cotangent squared. Now I'm working with cosecant squared divided by cotangent squared. The first thing I realize is that I right now have a numerator divided by a denominator, and I feel like it's going to be better for me if I write them out as with a division symbol that we're used to from grade school, like so. Now I realize that cotangent squared can be substituted in for cosine squared over sine squared. So now I have cosine squared of x divided by cosine squared of x over sine squared of x. Now I realize I'm dividing by a fraction, and we don't divide by fractions. We multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm going to leave my, same, my first term the same, and then I'm going to change this to multiply by the reciprocal of my second term. If you'd like to put your first term over 1 so it looks like a fraction 2, it might help you see that now you can simplify this. I see that I have a cosine squared over cosine squared. They simplify to 1, and all I'm left with is a sine squared. If you look at what you're trying to get to the left-hand side to be equal to, it is a sine squared. So this identity has now been established.